So, so I, I think the first thing I would say is missed actually just about three weeks, or three weeks ago, sometime in February, when fully open source. Um, so that's out there. Uh, I, I would kind of classify this. <laughs> this is my personal opinion uh, that I would, I don't know if everyone at Life Year would agree with me, but my, my opinion is that MIST is the sort of technology that doesn't necessarily need crypto economic incentives. Like it, it is, it basically abstracts away a lot of really hard parts of video. Um, and really what matters is that that technology is open source and available to anyone who wants to run it and has, is like maintained in a sustainable way. Um, historically in open source projects, of course, uh, maintaining them in, in sustainable way is the problem. Um, but yeah, so, so I would say like, it's this, this open tech that abstracts the hard parts away. Um, it does tie into the live peer network in that a broadcaster is more likely than not going to need some kind of a media server. Um, and so this, the play from live peer then would be really to say, hey, we're going to we're going to let those people that want to have a low cost transcoding this broadcasting on live peer, you know, this distributed streaming, you can do the ingest through mist, you manage it, but you don't need to be the expert in video tech and all of the ins and outs of all of that. So having that as is just complementary to just getting more work on the network is really what it ultimately boils down to, right? Exactly. And, and if you look at like, so the mission of the Live Peer project, which independently of, of Live Peering, is to build the world's open video infrastructure. Um, and that, that means, you know, in, in like the Live Peer network is a part of that. Uh, but, but so is the sort of technology that like MIST that makes it usable. Um, I see. And, I see. Yeah. I would add just, just to wrap it up there. Um, we're currently working on a much tighter integration of MIST and the broadcaster node um, so that those will form their own little part of, of the stack. Uh, and, and so in, in that sense, I think you'll see the relationship get tighter. Uh, but it is just like fundamentally open technology.